Hello and welcome to another Divinity Original Sin video. This is part 7 of the Pyro slash Geo Tactician Challenge run. A lot has happened since I last played. It's been a while since I last played the game, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get into the flow of things. Uh, where I start? What, I, what do I need to update you on? Well, I've pretty much killed everybody in Fort Joy at this point. Zalaskar has been destroyed as well. So I think the only people that are left are maybe some vendors in Fort Joy. We're going to leave them alive because we want somebody to take care of Buddy in his old age. And I think we have Gareth and a couple of the Seekers left, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. The other thing I need to update you on is my set of new skills. Obviously, we got the level 9. So, let's just delve into that real quick. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to briefly go over the, the gear. Minimum intelligence, but enough just to wear the gear. Any spare points have gone into constitution, and the rest have gone into memory at this moment in time. But things will change once we get to level 10, and once we get to driftwood, because we're going to need to have a lot more wits at that point. You can see, here's our school skills. And we are running the Bourne alongside Torture and Glass Cannon. For Spilosa, we've gone with the flat zero in memory. We've picked up Explosive Trap. Peace of mind, we are now rid of Enrage at this point. Well, we're sitting at a 42% and it would be like 47% crit with peace of mind so I'm dropping it a little bit sooner but it's just because I have a lot of spells I want to access and enrage makes it a little bit more difficult there's the school skills and we are running hothead alongside glass cannon and executioner Fane is a little bit of a tricky period um, with these are the piece of gear that we've been able to master up. And yeah, I managed to keep things trim enough for 14 memory. Um, at the moment like we're kind of like dancing between dust blast and, and deploy mass traps, but things will be a be a little bit easier. So I I kind of had to drop some skills in order to balance things out a little bit. But once we get to level 10 and into Driftwood, we should be able to smooth things out much, much more. There's the school skills. And we're running Affinity, Executioner, and Sword Leash. And then we have the Master of Sparks. There's our gear. We've kept things trim enough for 13 memory, which I think is pretty good. That's our gear. There's our school skills. <laughs> a cool 18 pyrokinetic. That is, that is somewhat insane. And we've gone with Executioner, all skilled up, and Sword Leash. Mm. Because I couldn't really muster up enough critical chance, I'm going to maintain Enrage. I'm not entirely sure for how long. Maybe once we start getting some cri decent critical chance together, I will. But at 17%, I don't think it was really worth giving up in Rage for. So, those are the builds. So we're just sat out, out here, ready to take on Sex Zapper and his party. Alright, so I think what we want to do here is... Bullhorns. Just do it like this. Ramshackle quarters. Why can't you have another life? I try. 
So we could do this the peaceful way, but I'm gonna just take on the challenge of fighting him. And you, you are nothing. Do just that, my Rise, crew. Right. So how are we gonna set things up here? So I think we're just going to. Mm, I don't know. Maybe position so like here. We'll take these two up here because why not? Um, how are we going to proceed? Yeah, this is the annoying thing. I, I, the, the staff won't actually allow me to create a surface, so I'm still having to rely on this, which is kind of sad and irritating at the same time. Yeah, we're happy there. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and create... Um, go ahead and go with this. Uh, I'm not going to worry about buffing up Sibyl too much, to be honest. of mind self yes, I do. this should be more than adequate so it doesn't really matter what we do he's always gonna go first in this fight mine really helped out there. Um, so how we're going to do this is by well, the best course of action is to well I think bring this one yeah I think bring this one inside create a fire surface totem to work with here. Mm. Are these guys in any way resistant to earth? A little bit of resistance. And I think we could trade positions um, with ourselves. Get some more free fire damage. Mm. Um. I think we'll just do it like this here. We're okay with this. Everyone's burning. And I think to finish things off, we could. Peace of mind. Okay. I think this fight is over already. Yeah. Here we go. I'm I'm betting on a one shot here. So let's just start off with. I think we can start off with that. 
Well, that's two of them dead. We've not even had to, uh... <laughs> We've not even used the big guns yet. <laughs> We've not even had to use Enrage and they're already dead. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting round. <laughs> Their damage is absolutely incredible. Look at this. Ooh, I think uh, I think Pyro is uh, is, is one of the strongest party builds, without question. So I don't really see how Dallas is going to survive for too long during the uh, during a later encounter. Anyway, let's go ahead and just uh, let's go get that source point back, and I think we can just check over the square. Yeah, everybody's dead. Abandoned camp. Yep, I've taken the time to kill everybody here too. I think we can. Oh, I think. Uh, yeah, we still need to remove these um, shriekers. We still have the. We still have the shield, so let's just go ahead and. I'd say we should stop. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, let's do a quick save. What is that? Now, it hopefully, it's not going to remove any. Wait, sorry, what? Oh. I didn't... Oh, for goodness sake. I didn't want to use the one from the wand. I was going to use that for fights. Burn us away. Oh, wait. I can't actually do that anymore? Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Well, I guess we've been got... Oh, that's sad. I kind of want to... What to do? Ah, never mind. I think we lost a couple of skills. So what did we, what did we lose? We lost um, armor frost. And traps also. Praise be. You have silenced the shriekers and cleared our way. Do you have any more miracles in you? I suppose so, Gareth, I suppose so. But if Alexander sees us fobbing us and we split up, are you ready? We are prepared and we are ready. The only concerns I have is is how the game can potentially screw me over in the turn order here. That's the only thing that we have to worry about. Um, to be honest. But anyway, let's do a do a quick save. We just got to just got to set up the same way like we did before. Try to get as close as we can. Be a lot easier if we had to jump, but I'm sacrificing the jump so I got the attack. Alright. Okay. Let's position ourselves then, boys. Let's just go with the Red Prince in here. We'll take these two characters up here. Take your time, guys. Sacrifice. Let's go tactical retreat there. 
Uh, low is all good, and I think we can... Let's just start setting up, I guess. Oh. We should give her some buffs here. It is necessary. I suppose we can soulmate you. Why not? Um, what else we got? Nothing there. Nothing there, really. <laughs> not exactly blessed for boss this party. I think maybe I can just attack with my incarnates. Maybe. I don't think we necessarily need to. Peace of mind. Oh, maybe here. Yeah. Oh man, we just missed the incarnate. Well, I guess we actually. Well, considering that I fucked that up a little bit, I actually. Might need to change what I was gonna do. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to change what we're gonna, what we planned originally. Can't actually reach this one, which is kind of irritating. Hmm, what's the idea then? I think perhaps we could look at maybe. Yeah, I think maybe we can look at doing something like this instead, perhaps. So I create a surface for us and get. Um... Get this gun down here. I don't really know how that reaches there. That's kind of bullshit to me. But this is actually necessary here. Because we've opened this guy up and we've burned everybody. Um, and... Hold on. I mean, there's a plan here, I guess. I guess we could just do this. It's, it's okay. We won't have them all locked down, but that's just what we're going to have to do here. We'll go with one singular trap. And then we'll go with slug. Maybe the slug there to maybe block his path from running up. I think maybe we'll try that. So, less than ideal, but... It is what it is. At least we can line ourselves up with this guy too. I should clip the trap. Yeah, pretty nice damage. We actually landed a kill. That's pretty sick. Oh, I didn't actually trigger a trap. I thought I did. That damage is pretty lame then, actually. That could have been so much better. Never swapping. No, that's not cool. That's why we needed to entangle them, really.
I don't know if totems, it's... At 2 HP. This guy, I think, is on the verge of dying, but we... He is definitely dead. So we could... I mean, I have the option. I can throw the Metamorph down, or I can just leave Bishop Alexander. But, um, I don't actually have... I suppose I could still give this to Loso. I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, we're going to spend the AP doing that. Go with this. I think I should try to keep the totem alive, actually. So I'm going to make sure it doesn't kill it. But we're going to get some additional damage from that. Um... So I think I will just do, perhaps, like, Searing Daggers. This, this should really trigger a lot of damage, actually. Because that's off of... That is off of uh, 18 Pyrokinetic. But would it actually do it? I'm not sure. Not so sure there. Um, yeah, the damage is going to be lame, and it's just a little bit awkward in terms of the placements. So I'm actually hitting my own teammates, and I don't really want to do that. And I, yeah, I kind of anticipate some high damage. I mean, uh, throw it, just throw it there, it explodes, it explodes. Okay, so it didn't, so that kind of sucks. Alright, I guess we're just going to trigger it like this then. Hang on, no, 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 no. I think we should trigger it like this. Yeah, I think if we're going to do this, I think we should trigger it like this. Yeah, do it like this. We'll destroy the totem. We'll do it like that, and then I guess we can follow up by doing whatever. I mean, this guy has blinding radiance. We could. Eh, no, I, I, I kind of want to just protect myself just in case if the worm turn screws me over entirely, which it's very capable of doing. Let's be honest. So, why don't we just, uh... Let's go over here, because nobody's gonna be able to touch this one for a while, and then we just play dead. With the last points. So he dies, no problem. With the metamorph, he's about to take her turn. I'm thinking the spark will jump from up here to here. I think. I can't lie, I'm kind of... Kind of afraid of taking my HP too low. I mean, I know it sounds like really stupid, but I don't really want people to die. Because Bishop... Uh, maybe because... Ah, ah, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. 310 down to 267. That's a big drop, though. That's quite a big drop. Um, I don't really want to move. I think I could just replenish this. That's all good. And then we can look at adrenaline. And an enraged self. And I think we can just reach out and... I, 
think we could just target is too far. Well, let's just woe in because we're not getting a chance to do anything else. All right, okay, that just absolutely melted these two. I really didn't expect that. Um, I really didn't. Um, uh, well, we've got two AP to spend, so let's uh, figure a way to to make use of it. Uh, maybe we can move close enough up here. I didn't think so. Worth a try. Still worth a try. Well, we made it work. Surprisingly. Alright, that works for me. Um, do we actually have a surface up here? We have fire surface. It's a blood surface next to us, so we should take that. Blood. I could increase everybody's health. Seeing that I'm so worried about it. I have a double turn now, so that's pretty cool. How much health this one got? Yeah, we can one shot from that position, so let's just do this. Um... I don't want everyone up in the same spot, honestly. Ah, fuck it again. Alright. Um, yeah, I can kill him. How much damage we need? More than... Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> He's got the Pine and Radiance going, doesn't he? Uh, that wasn't wasn't the smartest move, was it? Uh, I mean... Let me just check something real quick. I have 44 fire resistance. I have three, 277. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Sybil can handle this. What the fuck? Hold on. Wait! He died? How much damage did Sybil take in all that? Sybil was, was hit for... Hmm, hold on. I'm trying to find it. 16, 16, 16, 16. She barely took any damage. Well, that was ideal. Anyway, that was my execution plan. And now we can actually go over and kill the other one. But my question is, am I all of a sudden going to be... Oh. Alright, so the fight continues. Are we... Is he going to get a free turn? Or how is it going to go? Nope, it looks like we're going to get the go first. So we basically have one round of combat to defeat him. I think in this situation I need to... Yeah, see, but jump would have been quite nice right about now. Well, as long as I can get a fire incarnate up on top here, we're in a good spot. I think we could look at just moving a little bit. Oh, it's struggling to see up here. Alright, well we got the fire infusion incarnate, which is good. We're gonna... We're gonna buff him up a little bit. Um... I, I think the totem's a better play.
I mean, we could, yeah. We lost our free turn. That's what I mean. That's why I hate about this. We lost our time warp on those. Uh, what's going to increase the damage for me? Oh, it doesn't... I mean, we can get a totem up there, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to choose to do a totem. Alright, so... Jesus, man. There's no space. Just a little bit cramped up here. Just a little bit cramped. We're going to hit Sibyl no matter what. But as long as we kill it, it doesn't actually really matter if we hit her or not. And we've already seen that she can take a wafty hit on the fire side. So let's just go for this. Uh, she took 83. I could have used I could have used my source point for deploying mass traps, but no, my time warp ended up getting wasted. What the fuck? Apparently, I'm not actually stood on fire. Um, genuinely think that just being stood far further away is a better. Is better for us. As long as we can still reach him. You are fucking kidding me. Wow, that was a really good turn again. <laughs> fucking god. Yeah, that was that was some pleb potato play, man. Oh, we just wasted an entire turn doing nothing. You know what? Fuck this. We'll stay there. Well, on the positive note, we got. I don't know when the Y was struggling so fucking much, it's 30% fire resistance. It's not. Okay, we can go. We can work with. We can work with this. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Because we can clip the totem. So, Titan, Totem took the damage, we got the kill, Drillworm took 153, and we've still got 8 AP to attack with, and Sibyl's up here too, so we're actually in a, in a decent spot, poison, uh, yeah, this, yeah, I, I, it doesn't really make sense to use. Can he? Can is he immune to sleeping? How much fucking law master do I have, by the way? Uh, two. Should have invested in more. I could have found out. Anyway, if we get him shocked, then we're gonna lower the resistance, aren't we? Alright, let's just wet him, get him wet and then just retreat. What the hell's going on here? So he's gonna die before he gets a turn. <laughs> so yeah, there's some absolutely potato plays in this, huh? Okay, well, we're still gonna go with the wet then. Actually, no, we won't. We actually. We'll go with this now because we can actually lower resistance. 
for the um, for Sibyl. It doesn't matter anyway. I did I did that in the most potato way possible. Like, I mean, we were able to recover in some cases, but the fucking jump over there with Spain, well, that was fucking specialist. That was fucking special move. That was. Fain. Nah, he was. He's got the characteristics of a coward. That's why he jumped away. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh, you're not gonna too far ahead. I didn't hurt you, did I? Yes, you did. Red Prince is fragile. She leans back. So, God woken. <laughs> well, first thing she fears is. I thought like that was a perfect Red Prince response. Right, we're gonna do it up a little bit, yeah, but that fight was pretty terrible on my part. <laughs> that was um, anything but clean. Anything but clean. Oh damn, this is the problem with not having a single character with strength. Nobody can carry anything. But yeah, man, that jump over was special. And it was it was all because I got a little bit greedy at the beginning. All I had to do was do a worm tremor and uh, I would have had none of those problems. But no, I had to go for the extra damage, didn't I? And also it didn't help that I had to create another incarnate, uh, another, uh, another pet at the beginning. That kind of... Oh, changed things. I nearly ran straight in there. But yeah, that changed things pretty, pretty much. But, you know. I was being extremely cautious. I was afraid of him attacking us and just removing our entire HP bar. Because he is, he is very capable of doing that. Which is why I was thinking about, oh, getting a Courage up. Because... Just simply because the amount of um, that uh, HP it can eat through in a single turn. It's uh, quite daunting. But anyway, we didn't actually get to see it, which is a good thing. And also a good thing is that um, we didn't get screwed over in the turn order there either. Apart from we lost... Oh, apart from that we lost uh, the use of Time Warp, that was pretty sad. Uh, all right. So yeah, I nearly forgot. Nearly forgot these guys. I need to kill them. Uh, where's my archer? Uh, just. I'll kill this one. Kill this. Um. Kill the piggy up here. To be fair, I need to get rid of items, not take more items on. Um. Hmm, it's not bad, chess piece. Pretty cool. That's actually really nice. Int, Pyro, and Geo. What one am I currently wearing? I guess I kind of prefer that. <laughs> the animation there looks fucking hilarious, man. Anyway, I think... Uh, do I need any anything else? Not really. Come on, Sir Laura. We're getting out of Fort Joy, buddy. I shit my pants for a second. I was thinking the Red Prince is grumpy. 
but he's not he's not actually near us so that's okay yeah he's still making his way over to us <laughs> uh, we better keep that one quiet all right I think we've done everything that I can do here how much experience we got mm, two eight six I think we're a little bit short but whatever must have forgot to do something or done something in the wrong order, whatnot. Who knows, man? I think it, I think we can get the hell out of this place now. Damn, we need to sell some stuff big time. Actually, before before we set sell, I should probably just hand over some items. To these other guys. Because otherwise I'm going to be encumbered. I got no one to give the items to. So, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like. Oh, uh. Was I really that blind? I didn't see that I needed to get a source point for red. I mean, it's very possible. <laughs> it's it's very like me to do something like that, to be honest. Right now, we're leaving the place. This place, I promise you, we are getting out of here now. Let's get the hell out of this place. Tired but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as Godwoken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Over the shoulders of one of them. Standing against an a hard fought freedom, sure. Onward now. Well, let's have a look around, shall we? Oh no. I can't believe what I've just done. I left my barrels. Man, I'm a disgrace. Oh man, you know what? They're in good hands. They're in good hands. Or so I will tell myself. Minus 20% of water. Yeah, it makes sense. Like a little bit of experience in the morning. Oh my god, are you serious? Chuck that there for the time being. Damn, let's not pick up another item until we actually sell some stuff now. Jesus, man. Spare me, Gareth. I won't see. What's this? You know, Gareth. Our guests uh, very glad indeed. Gareth, no. Right, let's, let's look at getting everyone together again, huh? Oh. Uh, who's this? Oh, that's a rat. And Beast is not part of this run, but Thane is. 
I must say, personally, I am just glad. If only. If you must know, there is an excavation site at the Black. The only trick I was investing. Alas, they caught me. Still, it's good to be on the move again. Is that? I need to travel to the given house. So, how about it? Very well. Let's get it on, Thane. Let's get get it on. I was not flirting with him. Maybe I was. Maybe it's like one of those subconscious things that I, I'm just not aware of yet. You have feelings for Thane, that's what it is. The sad is nothing compared to Thane, let's tell the truth. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Celine's back slightly, thin arms crossed in front of her chest, and stares at you to Exactly. Exactly. Your god wants me dead. My... god? Devil? <laughs> Who knows? It wants me. It's getting strong. I want to make sure you understand... well, the risks. You don't get it. I'm dangerous. Yeah, but I think... I think the fact that she's willing to be honest about it says about her intentions. Can you do that? Promise? Well, do what's necessary. A spark in her dim grey eye. I knew I could count on you to murder me in a pinch. Let's go, Chief. I am the chief. I am the Red Prince. The seeker flexes her arm. I actually nods her thanks. Good luck getting you right there. Open the, open the gate at once. The Red Prince commands it. I'll keep an eye on the Red until the cage is locked again. Yeah, you don't need to. We're gonna kill her straight away. <laughs> your own size. It's like 1v5. What's wrong with you? How much HP you got? Eh, maybe this kills? And eh, maybe this plus totem kills? We'll see. Now, oh, mind boys. Oh, wow. One miss. That's not a good start now, is it? Holy moly. She dead, yo. She's on the menu for tonight. <coughs> Roast Ranley. Uh, where are we at? Right, cool. Got the gem. Uh, okay, so I think I need to make a few slight adjustments to the builds here. Um, but I'll do that in a bit. I'm not gonna worry. Uh, I can do it now, actually. Um, actually, yeah. So if me to go here, do a little quick save just in case I screw up. The door seems like any door. Scholar. The face oh, the gem. Oh, gem. Dread. I'm just going around this side. Okay, cool. Alright, let's just run straight to him. One more moment. Right, let's sell some crap to him. Let's get his attitude up first. So, 100. Okay. Wow, that was just perfect math. Um, I think we go with like. I'm gonna take two. I'll sell everything I got, basically. 
basically we keep the pants. So this, this, so this, so this. Do I need this ring? No, 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 no. Maybe keep that one. Um, what else we got here? Sell the thread. I don't know about the fang. Maybe we sell the fang. We still got 1.6 left. Damn, we got so much to get rid of. Let's get rid of the heavier shit first. Okay. Alright, that kind of works for us. Um, I don't know if I need any of this stuff, but... We'll leave it for now. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my back? I'm a prisoner. That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here. Too weak to escape. Why talk he extend to you some form of well, so why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescue? To whom it's do the I least you can do. Your blood means nothing to me, Lizard. I ought to continue what I'm doing here. Alright, we'll see you later then, buddy. We're gonna just loot up the place a little. Awkward angles. No idea what I picked up, by the way. Straight tutorials, get rid of it. A teleporter mirror. Only one way to find out if it works. This is written in ancient wizard script. It appears to be a song. What's this? It appears to be a song. I found something. Ooh, a kitty. Come back, kitty. I have no idea why. There you go. Put him out. <laughs> One shot. Can always count on the ranger to do that, huh? Should we have a little box here? Pick the clock. What's this? I found something. Nice stash of gold around this place. Alright, we can't sell any more items at this point. Got nobody to sell it to. Well, I could up uh, my attitude with Gareth, but I don't really care about that, honestly. Um, I can put a few of these, just identify this. Oh yeah, I didn't even fucking check out the room down here, did I? What a potato. Uh, can sell this. Junk. Yeah, because that's XP we would have missed out on if I didn't bother looking. Right, what do I need to organize here? Um, I want to have a jump for the next fight. That's for sure. So we need another memory. Uh, so let's just lower our const 
potion by one, go with an extra memory. Oh, what have we got to get up? Okay, this, this. Uh, worm tremor, this, tactical retreats. I think that covers everything that I want here. we got here. It's a nice one. I have better, I assume. Yes, we do. Jesus, I have so much crap. Oh, keep the invisibility potion. Not that we're going to be using it, but we could use it outside of combat. Maybe for something or another. Jesus, man. So much. Oops. So much to go through. You can get rid of that crap now. I can get rid of this. <coughs> Who's the ranger for me again? Losa. Get rid of this, sell this. We keep those gloves just in case. Shoot the paper can go. Don't really care about Alexander's journal. This, I guess we can just keep hold of for now. Keep hold of that. Sell. So much absolute. Oh, maybe we'll just keep the strength potion too. We might actually need that for something or another. A little more stuff here to sell. Ooh, keep the charm arrow. Um, keep it for Lusa. We can sell that, sell that. Right, we're somewhat organized now. Um, there's red prints. So let's take this out and we'll put in this. Yeah, that can be like that. Hmm. I mean, I could always... Yeah, not really worth it. Actually, I suppose it is worth it, actually. No, it's probably not worth it. I'm just having an internal dialogue. Ignore me. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can organize it as much as I possibly can. Um, the thing with this fight is that it's going to be a little bit... Hmm. Do I value the time warp or do I value the traps? It entirely depends. more to focus for this fight is going to end up being fire to be honest and I think even bleed fire is going to be would be valuable here but I think I could probably get away with it just seeing how much damage we're we're doing right now so um Yeah, I mean contamination. I got no, I got no blood or poison. Oh, poison blood, blah blah whatever. Um, I need that second source point to make him really shine. Fur well, three source points to make him shine further. Then we'll have access to traps, dust blast, and time warp. I mean, if I take that out, I got no blind. Here I've got. I don't really have enough fire attacks to keep me going, to be honest. I mean, maybe, maybe just for this fight, I just ditch. Maybe I even just approach it like that. 
I have some sort of semi crowd control. With the blind and everything else, it's just fire. And I just use searing dagger at the beginning. And then I got my affinity. I don't know, dude. Um, I mean, the fire traps alone should do a lot of damage, so. There's enough damage in this party. Uh, it's not really stressed too much. Um, I've got a trap here. Yeah, chloroform could be useful. That's fine. We'll, we'll go with that here. Things are going to change once we get to level 10. So That's fine as far as I can see it. And... I think we'll be okay there too. Right. Uh, no, sir. Where's Fane? Come on, Fane. Don't be shy now. Oh, we got a source point, actually. Ah, we actually do have a source point. Yeah. I'm guessing consuming it would give me one source. Yeah, we could actually use that as well as the wand. In our favor. Anyway. We've read, and we now know the song, so we can get the hell on up. Oh, no, we can't. we got some friends over here who want to say hello to us. Oh, god damn. Uh, let's just go. Let's go with physical here. This is the really this is the annoying thing about summoners. I can't just kill them quickly. I have to set up a long period of time to do it. Oh, sort of annoying. Sort of. I love how I love how that whole interaction didn't affect Ifan whatsoever. I'm just gonna go for a casual stroll. Some people are just killing each other, but you know. It's just normal life here in Rivalon. Um, yeah, right, so we're heading up now to the upper deck. We should be able to get this ship moving. But it's getting pretty late here. It's like half this one. So I think I might just leave it here. Sing the song from the table. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I want to jump into bed. Alright, oh, what? Remark that you feel lucky to have found a little piece of home in the forest. It will obey you from now on. Has to admit that you see flaws in The ship is free. But I cannot be free again. Not truly. Ah, I am here to serve in The creaking of the giants. I was an elf. Right. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired, so uh, we'll leave it here. We'll um, we'll save it, and we'll uh, crack on the next time. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.